Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of notification squad, peep squad. Hit that notification bell, baby. You know, each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind, baby. So let's get into this. Let's talk about Princess Love and Ray J. Like, I can't believe my ears. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I can't believe what I am saying. I was like, OMG, not Princess Love and Ray J. Like, I thought it was going to be... That was going to last a little bit longer, but I guess not. So the word on the street is, the word on the blogs is, Princess Loves filed for divorce from Ray J after four years of marriage. Months of living apart. Yes, they have been living apart and everything else like that. Especially when the coronavirus came through. She was not trying to let Ray J in the house because he was out here getting money, getting bags. And then at the same time, having a good time and partying and doing what he likes to do. So she didn't want to jeopardize her kids. She didn't want to jeopardize herself too as well. And plus, she probably just didn't want want Ray J around because she says she's not happy with Ray J she's not happy to be around Ray J either too as well and I believe that she you know poured out herself to Ray J told him what she wanted what she expected and she didn't get it and I guarantee you Ray J did the same thing too as well but Ray J you know he gonna do what he gotta do he's gonna get that bag and he's gonna continue to get that bag and at the same time that he's getting that bag to make sure his family is well taken care of he's gonna have fun he's gonna enjoy it he's gonna have a good time because he knows his home is safe he knows that princess love is taking care of the children and she's at home where she's supposed to be because he's bringing the money and you know he's doing the things that he needed to do to better himself and his career because you know at one point in time Ray J was known as Brandy's little brother now he is known as Ray J he did he has made a name for himself in Hollywood in the industry and also with just you know infomercials and selling different products and TV shows and hosting shows and being an actor too as well so Ray J has really made a name for himself too and then he got married and you know he talked about changing not you know drinking a lot not doing this not doing the, all the stuff that he used to do when he was single and he said that on the breakfast club but um it seems like princess love is saying she's refruiting them claims she's saying no that is not true he is still the same baby and allegedly princess went out to the blogs and she reached out to bloggers and did an exclusive interview but then you know back down or just basically gave them the information she didn't want her face to be shown that you know um, she's accusing Ray J of basically cheating on her, having affairs on her too as well, being with, you know, allegedly being with strippers, allegedly being with escorts. And we have seen, um, Miss Princess Love on Instagram Live basically calling out Ray J for cheating on her, having girls' phone numbers, hooking up with different business partners that he, he was affiliated with. That's Princess side of the story and that's what she says. And basically, how long can you live with a situation like that? if that is actually true only a per you can't take that much you know sometimes you just got to walk away and when you have children you have to put their best interests first and I believe that's what princess is doing for her children and herself and some people believe that princess you know she only married Ray J to get a bag she only had babies to get a bag and now she got her bag she's been with him for four years now she's starting different businesses and things like that so she just used Ray J so that's what people are saying about different things like some people or team Ray J some people or team princess love and some people calling out Ray J for his behaviors and cheating and allegedly and some people calling out princess saying every time you turn around princess you stay with the blogs you're always with the blogs and you like everything that happens you know you get on Instagram you tell your personal business it's like you you involved outside people in your relationship and they call her out on that for being immature then they call her out saying that you know what type of man Ray J was and you married him but she probably thought that he was going to change and he probably did change before they got married he was a different Ray J because she did leave Ray J at one point in time but um you know sometimes you know marriage and kids ain't going to change a person they're going to stay the same that's if Ray J was actually that person that you know princess is actually accusing him of being because basically she just saying that 
Ray J really dogged her out, allegedly, and mistreated her. And, you know, and she has dreams and she has goals and aspirations that she wanted to do, but she can't do. And Ray J hasn't supported her in that field. He only was worried about his businesses and what he needed to do to make bags when she wanted to make bags too as well. And she was stuck at home with the kids. And some people say, well, she could have got a nanny. She could have got this. She could have got that. Nobody wants to put their kids in the hand of someone they don't know in the beginning of their life, especially if they're very to just to traditional and it seems like princess love is that way too as well but <clears throat> You know, what do you guys think about this situation? I was just like, Lord have mercy. I can't believe this is happening. So it says, Princess Love, she filed for a divorce. She's 35 years old. You know, she rose to fame from Love and Hip Hop, you know, Hollywood. And also, she was dating Floor Mayweather once upon a time. So she was dating a man like Floor Mayweather. And he had multiple women at the time, too, as well. And I guess she felt like going with Ray J, she didn't want to have that same experience. But when she first got with Ray J, he was cheating. And then he came back as a changed man too as well. And he introduced himself to the world as a changed man. And basically wanted to worship and be faithful and just take care of princess love. And I think, you know, it was wonderful in the beginning. But once the children came, it was more responsibilities on her. And Ray J was less visible. This is what princess love says too as well. And basically she says she can't stand the sight of him. And Ray J basically feels like she nags him. She's not appreciative of anything that he does. You know, she's always, you know, down his throat like she is a, a principal or his teacher or a nun or whatever the case may be. And then on top of that, you know, maybe if Princess could have got some advice from, you know, Mama Norwood or Brandy. It's alleged that Mama Norwood and Brandy don't get along with Princess Love, you know. So you guys tell me what you think about the situation. Princess and Ray J do have two children too as well. And they do have a son that's four months years old. And that's crazy that they get a divorce and that one of their children's only four months years four months old. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I said four months years old. I mean four months. Like, Lord have mercy. I didn't think that this was going to happen this quick and fast. I thought maybe they was going to get some counseling and get some therapy. But with the Ray J and Princess, you know, on the Zeus Network or, what, uh, or whatever network that they was on, it basically seemed like there was no more talking. And it seemed like Princess fell out of love. For Ray J, and it seems like Ray J still loves Princess, but he still needs to do the things that he wants to do. And I think he just wants a woman to support him and stand by his side and not t not um, nag him in so many different words. But it's sad to see that they are getting a divorce. But if it's better for them, then it's better for them. And some people also think that maybe it's not really true. This is just basically a publicity stunt. I don't think that this is a publicity stunt. But you never know. Um, because there's some shows that Ray J is coming out with. So there's some shows that he's promoting. And basically it draws attention to the situation. And everybody will be paying attention. Because everybody is what home during the coronavirus you know, epidemic. So... You guys tell me what you think about it. And you know, Princess also accused, you know, Ray J of cheating on her in Vegas. And basically saying that, you know, he left her stranded. But she really wasn't stranded. She did have a car, but she was pregnant. And she wanted a husband next to her, you know. And he wasn't there because he had to do this. He had to do that. And basically, he felt like Princess Love was disrespecting him in Vegas. And all that other good stuff. So, but they end up coming back together. And we know Princess Love went on Instagram Live. And we thought that things were going to get better, but they didn't. So, you guys tell me what you think about this situation. And then also, you know, Ray J has went and to the media afterwards and basically said he hasn't seen his children. You know, before he claimed he didn't see his children when Princess Love and Ray J separated when they was in Vegas. And, you know, they were staying in separate hotels. And then he said once again throughout quarantine that he's not able to see his children and things like that. So, you know, some people say that she's holding the kids uh, hostage from him. And then some people saying she's doing what she's supposed to do as a mother to protect her children to make sure they don't get sick because she might feel like Ray J does not have to leave the house. Ray J doesn't need to make any more money. He got enough money. He can take a month off. And Ray J, being the workaholic that he is and the party animal that he is, 
He's like, nah, I can't stay in the house. Could you imagine Ray J staying in the house? Remember when Ray J was over there at Chris Brown's house? When Chris Brown house had the helicopters, the news, the police, and, you know, all that was going on. And they was like, oh, Chris Brown compound. They had all the police out there and everything else like that. And they were standing out with guns and they wouldn't let anybody leave. Ray J was able to get up out of that house and get home, baby. Ray J ain't the type to stay in the house. But do you think it's anyone's fault or they just both fell out of love with each other and they don't know the path that Ray J is going it doesn't include Princess and the path that Princess is going out probably doesn't include Ray J but their children are always included because we know Ray J loves his children and he's going to always be there for his children and he's going to respect Princess and her wishes when it comes to his children because he has like he didn't try to go to court he didn't try to do anything negative towards Princess when he said that he was not able to see his children before quarantine came in so you guys tell me what you think about the situation and um do you think there's any particular person that's at fault at this marriage not working is it both of their fault or should they have gotten therapy a lot sooner but it's it's good to walk away when you're ready to walk away and it's also you don't stay in a marriage that you're not happy with regardless of what people say what people think about you your happiness always come first and then the happiness of your children and a sacred environment for your children to grow up into as well so you guys tell me what you think peace i'm out much love to all my peeps and my peoples peep squad